I play Kilroy. We meet him after he loses the biggest championship of his life. Was a light heavyweight champion. Knocks him over the edge on top of losing his wife, his one true love of his life. Kilroy is here! Kilroy is everyone who represents the average uh, American soldier from World War II. And I got a bad heart. He lands in Camino Real. Uh, he's pretty much at the end of his wits. The Camino Real is metaphorically kind of the place where you come, you know, the end of nowhere and the beginning of somewhere. What is this place? The original play is a sort of a collage, uh, a collage of blocks, uh, uh, a group of characters. And each character is, is a, a different side of Tennessee Williams. The best way to attack this piece is trying to make what we call like a total theater. It's something similar, similar to an opera. It's the music, it's the imaginary on the stage, the visual, visual effects and the actors. We make a, a fusion of the music because it, it will be better, the combination. Okay, once more. Calixto is rehearsing the play. He tells the actors that each scene is as if it was their last scene in the play. For the spring of humanity has gone dry in this place, and there are no birds. Gutman is kind of the master of ceremonies. My guests are confused and exhausted. He represents the guy who takes advantage of others for his own gain. I've seen them all, and I've done them all, and I've known them all, and I've done them all out of their last lucky dollar here on the Camino Real. Tennessee, shortly after this play opened, he wrote an essay for the New York Times and that his goal for this play was for it to be free. And Calixto is creating a structure from which the whole thing can can become a place where dreams live, where shadows live. It's really a dreamscape. <laughs> it was important to be able to switch in between different dreams um, without having huge stage movements uh, and changings on the stage. And we also wanted to create the feeling of uh, floating in a black space and suddenly things fly in and it converts to a special situation like being at the street in a fiesta with the lamps and the bulbs and the neon signs and suddenly all this flies away and we are just on a normal street at night with the normal street lamps but no fiesta anymore. Everything that he comes up with is so strong and beautiful and he's constantly in pursuit of juxtaposing. There's this unbridled freedom in the room with us, him giving us the ability to explore freely. He's creating the characters in his imagination. Okay, this is what we are saying. When doing this adaptation, we, we, we couldn't help uh, using most of his uh, poetry. I'm a gold-toothed woman with a gold-toothed blues Cause a gold tooth makes all... This is what I love the piece very, very much. I think it's a masterpiece. You can uh, feel in life desperation, loneliness, love in this fantastic purgatory. There seems to be no way to get out of Camino Real. Everyone is a fugitive there, a fugitive from himself. Understand that we all are in this mess together. Calixto makes the fantastic commonplace. It's like the shouting of a writer saying, come on, we are we are still alive. I think we're all Kilroy. This whole play, he's trying to find a way out of his reality. I think anyone, everyone can relate to that. And then there's aspects of love throughout. You know, he's a romantic. Um, so I think there's many aspects that people can relate to in this show.
It's really great because it's so true to the play. But at the same time, we're really free uh, to, to create. In the most beautiful way, I think we're coming up with some amazing things. It will be a really emotional, powerful production.